Okay, back on the air again. Where are we today? 261 jumps away from Colonia. And uh, here we are out in the, uh, out in the uh, side reel wall on our way to Colonia. And <clears throat> that's how far away we are from the bubble. And uh, let's see here. Where did we leave off yesterday? I think I'll close this up here. I don't really need to have that open. Okay, so yesterday uh, we made uh, 2,855,734 credits in 45 scans and in 16 jumps. Traveled a whole 530 light years. And here we are today. So I skipped yesterday so I could edit the videos that I had produced on that day and those are going up on YouTube today. Uh, one of those will be um, um, kind of a summary really of the tools that I use. I've covered those in all my other videos but I thought I'd dedicate a video just to the tools um, without doing any uh, actual travel in Elite Dangerous, just talking about tools. And then, uh, and then the second video is a, uh, about an hour and a quarter uh, demonstration using those. So I'm going to put those up in their own little two-part playlist. Um, anyway, let's get going here. Full speed ahead. 100%. And we'll see how Astra behaves herself today. Make the jump. Make the jump. Hyperspace jump engaging. Preparing for jump. Okay, so we're going to a class K star. One oh seven to four eight. Hyperspace. Checking systems now. Complete. Scanning for anomalies. None detected. I can scan the system if you wish. Scan the star. Scanning planet. System map. System map. <laughs> well, we definitely want to go visit those guys. Um, let's see, this is going to be what? It's going to be a Class M. And uh, let's see, Class M's 0.5 to 200. Uh, that's, well, those distances are all distances from the main sequence star. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to make some money off of these guys down here. So we'll see. Close the map. Closing the map. How far away? Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go do that. Oh, this should be a good system. Be ahead. Maximum velocity engaged.
Let's see who's first. System map. System cartography. Close the map. Closing map. Okay, I believe that that would be a high metal content. Um, based on that silhouette we've got there. Engaging now. 50%. Let's see, that silhouette is a high metal content world. And I'll bet it's terraformable. I bet. We'll find out. Nope. <laughs> it could have been. Um, we'll get a little bit closer to it, and then I want to see how far we are from its star. Carbon dioxide rich atmosphere, so it's going to have kind of a brownish gray um, color tint from its uh, atmosphere. You can really see it down here, I think. Now, um, the star um, is 343 light seconds away, and this is a Type M, correct? Yeah. So, the M class is uh, 0.51 to 200. So this one, which is the most distant planet in that uh, in that uh, class M stars system, um, is outside of that range. But all the others are going to be closer. So uh, yeah, we're going to see some uh, we're going to see some terraformables and possibly water worlds or Earth-like worlds in here. Let's choose the next one and see what's next up. System map. System map. Alright, so the next one is this guy right here. And um, yeah, that one um, that one is gonna be in the terraformable range. So we're looking at some some real good probabilities here. Um, now that one itself, it's a high metal content world. Um, it'll have an atmosphere. Yeah, so we'll just see if it's uh, terraformable or not. This one that uh, got an atmosphere and. That color suggests either argon or ammonia. So, yeah, could be valuable. This one will be another high metal content. And it's got an atmosphere. It's hard to see what, what, uh, well, what's going on there? So we'll we'll wait and see. Uh, this one um, might have a carbon dioxide or a neon atmosphere. I think we'll see about that. This is a, clearly a water world or an Earth-like. So. Um, 
Yeah, there's some real good possibilities in this system. But this next one is going to be high metal content. And it's close to the star up there, so... Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. Metal content. Go about there. Okay, this next one. This is going to be another high metal content. Full speed ahead. And let's see about that moon. Does it have a moon? No. They're just companions. This is also high metal content. So far nothing in the terraformables. I believe that this too is a high metal content. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. 100%. System map. System cartography. And we haven't gotten to this one yet, all right? So this one and then that one. Close the map. Closing map. Okay, 50% engaged. I overshot that one. Understood, Terraforming Candidate. I thought that might... I thought we'd find at least one around here. Let's just take a, take a quick look at that and then we'll um, go look at that Earth-like world. Let's select it now and see what its uh, silhouette looks like. It's a water world. Okay. See the water world right down here. So this one's got a hot and thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. Looks like there could be even be water down there.
maybe through all that uh, thick atmosphere it's a little hard to tell let's see what the Surface gravity is almost identical to Earth, 0.99. Um, Earth mass is 0.76, so three quarters the mass. 61 days to orbit the star, so it's, it moves around the star pretty quick, about two months. And it must be tidally locked, it is. Surface pressure, 133 atmospheres, and at 783 degrees Kelvin. Nine hundred and forty nine degrees Fahrenheit. It might be a little warm. <laughs> All right, let's go check out that water world. It's going to have some value too. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. So uh, let's see, water worlds are supposed to be worth about around, um, uh, right around 700,695. Let's see if that's right. We should have over a million credits. Nice way to start the day. Hey, okay. let's see here. Yeah, so that's so uh, yeah. Understood. 50%. Another terraforming candidate on top of being a water world. Very nice. Yes, sir. 25%. Just kind of creep up on this one. I'm atmosphere is a thick water rich atmosphere. 394 degrees Kelvin. It's going to be a hot world. Surface gravity is almost Earth. Earth masses is almost Earth mass. See any land mass there at all. All right, I think we got them all. 
definitely a nice way to start the day. Next system en route. Locking next star system. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Make the jump. Make the jump. Preparing for jump. Okay, we're coming up on another Class M star here. Our next system up. Breaks here myself, I think. Yep. Stop all thrusters. Yeah, Astra didn't want to do a safety jump that time for some reason. She's been having a problem with that. Do the scan. Scanning now. System map. System map. All right. So, um, let's see here. This is, I think, a K, right? No, an M. And uh, that's landable, landable, landable. This one is not 529, but for an M, that would be outside the habitable zone. And then landable, landable. And that one will be way outside. So, um, nothing likely to be terraformable in here. Now, this is what a, an L. And, uh, so, you know, it's hard to say how far away it is. You know, maybe if they gave the distance from the host star here, maybe you could at least extrapolate an approximation, but for how far these are from there, the star that they are orbiting. But, uh, you know, these guys are all, they're all atmospheric, except for that one down there. Close the map. Closing map. Too far to travel to go down with these guys, even though there's probably a few bucks to be made there, but not, not enough really to make it worth my while. I want to try and put on some miles again today. 25% engaged. Next system. Selecting next destination. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Make the jump. Hyperspace jump engaging. Preparing okay. for jump. Another M class. Detected. Temperatures are 
Shall I carry out a system scan? Do the scan. Scanning. System map. System cartography. Okay, so it's an M class, right? Yeah, and uh, so let's see, 54, that's in the habitable zone. So is that, so is that. That's outside the habitable zone. So the first three could be terraformables. They look like um, either high metal content or rocky bodies. If I was going to venture a guess, I would say rocky body, but you never know. That'll be outside the habitable zone, as will that. Then, of course, these guys here. Now, this that that looks like um, it could be a large ice ball but it's really hard to say you know because of its size um, it could be a gas giant as well but let's see um, it could be a helium rich it does look kind of like that Could it be? It kind of looks like a helium rich uh, gas giant to me. And then this one here would be a, another gas giant. It too kind of has that helium rich look, but it's not quite the right color. Could be a class 2 gas giant. That one on the end there kind of looks like it. Um, it's probably a class 2. And then that is probably just a an icy world. Big old icy world. Let's see, that's 4,000, that's 22,000, that's way out there. It's got to be an icy world. Um, well, it's not going to be a high profit system, but uh, I'm going to call this a vanity scan. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it just for the vanity of it, just to have my name all over it. And I'm having second thoughts. I just forgot that I got a late start today. It's 3.30, 3.40 in the afternoon now. I'm probably not going to be able to get in much today. So I think I'll just move on. Yes, sir. 25%. Next waypoint. Next waypoint. Next system. System destination locked. Complete. Full speed ahead. One hundred percent. I had to press a keyboard shortcut that time. She didn't hear me. Scan the star. Scanning now. Mm -hmm. 
System map. System cartography. Okay, this is a class K. So 107 to 480 A. All right, that's in the habitable zone. And that is, and that is, and that's outside the habitable zone. Yeah. Maximum distance is 1390, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this system. Twenty-five percent engaged. Okay, that's going to be a high metal content world. Speed ahead. Maximum drive. Could be terraformable. Let's see. Argon rich, high metal content. Okay, argon. I want to see what the uh, color of that atmosphere looks like against its edge. I was thinking that it was going to be kind of a reddish brown color. Yes, gradually I'm starting to figure this stuff out. Yeah, you can see when you look at the, along the edges there, the, where you're looking right through the atmosphere. And the atmosphere, argon does definitely kind of go in that reddish brown color range. Okay, good. Okay, this is also going to be another high metal content. Well, it could be high metal content, um, or I think it could be either that or a rocky body. We have to double check on that. No, it was high metal content. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. <laughs> We're getting the scan anyway. It's also terraformable or in the range. Again, argon. Looks like argon is the favored gas in this system. Now this can be either a rocky body or a high metal content. Maximum velocity engaged. System map. System map. It's right in the middle of the, right on the edge actually, as I recall, 454 and I think 480. 
was the limit. Close the map. Closing map. Double check that. Um, let's see, where was that? Yeah, for class K, 480. Nitrogen. Let's get a look at that atmosphere. The nitrogen is uh, kind of yellowish brown then. Yellower than um, carbon dioxide. But not red. is going to be a nice body here. Nebula there off to the right looks interesting. It looks like um, engaging now, fifty percent. Kind of like a bead with a hole right down the middle or something. world. And another one, another icy world. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. She just doesn't hear me. thought that I said fast forward there. Twenty five percent engaged. Fifty percent speed.
Drives engaging. 75%. Okay, 50%. Engaged. That could be part of the problem. The lead dangerous wasn't in the list. Okay, that's going to have another nitrogen atmosphere, thick nitrogen, so it should have kind of a yellowish color to it, and this is an ice world, and generally speaking, ice is white, so this would be a good time to get that uh, edge color down here. I'm thinking kind of a yellow yellowish color. Uh, yellow with and green. So you have to remember this is a thick atmosphere so it's going to add color to the uh, to the surface color. And if the surface color is mostly white, you can see the yellow and the, I guess the green too, so a yellowish green. that the game isn't just in there. Refresh this list. Very dangerous client. Okay. All right, we'll see what that does. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Well, she heard me that time. Neon rich ice world. Okay, and neon. I believe that. Um, Neon does like a kind of a purplish green color, I think. So let me see if I'm right about that. Understood. 50%. I use the gravity of that planet to help slow me down. Well, no, this is more like a a brown, brown, reddish brown. Let's see. Neon. speed ahead. 100%. That definitely helped. The only problem with, um, you know, telling um, voice attack that you're always supposed to send commands to the client is, let's say that I'm over here and then I say galaxy map. Galaxy map. Displaying map. See, it jumps you right back into the game. It doesn't necessarily execute the command. Not in the in the game because it 
takes you back to the game either too late or or after the fact, after it's uh, actually sent the command request. So they're kind of out of sync with one another. Okay, now there's going to be another ice world. System map. System cartography. All right. Close the map. Closing the map. I was having real problems getting her to um, follow my commands. It might have been for the very reason that I just discovered that um, it didn't know which application to send those commands to. I think um, methane. Let's see what methane looks like. And maybe it's methane that's kind of a, a yellowish green color or a, a greenish purple. There's one that is greenish, has a greenish purple tinge to it, and it might be methane metal. It kind of, yeah, yeah, this is the one. Uh, the, I, I should have remembered that uh, methane is a, a hydrocarbon, you know, and I think of. Uh, you know, gasoline floating on water. Yes, sir. 25%. You know that you get green and purple. Just like, just like here. Okay. So argon is a reddish brown. And neon is... Argon is a brownish red, it's more brown than red. Neon is a reddish brown. Helium, is that what we were looking at earlier? I don't remember. I have to go look. Neon. Nitrogen, yeah, nitrogen was kind of a brownish gray, a reddish brown. Yeah. Argon, I know, is kind of a dark, dark red brown, dark reddish brown. Okay. I wish I was hadn't been forced to full speed ahead. Maximum drive. I wish I hadn't been forced to um, get a late start today. I was editing the videos from day before yesterday, all day yesterday, and all morning today. There were actually two videos that came out of that session. All right, let's see, what do we have left here? Two more plus one really far away, right? And they're both going to be icy worlds. Full speed ahead. Must already be at full speed ahead. Okay. Well, we'll go visit these two, and then I've got to go fix my son a sandwich. Two are like right next to one another, so we get them both without having to make any extra traveling here. Fifty percent speed. I'm gonna overshoot this one too. Twenty-five. 
Accent engaged. Do the scan. Do the scan. Scanning planet. Okay, that's it for this system. Next waypoint. Next waypoint. Next system. Next system en route. Selecting next system en route. Hmm. Make the jump. Frame shift drive engaging. Or class K this time. Let's see, and the class K was how far? 107 to 480. Do the scan. Scanning. System map. System map. Close the map. Closing the map. Yes, sir. Twenty five per cent. Next system. Locking system destination. Next waypoint. Locking system destination. Good, so that works now. Full speed ahead. 100%. Make the jump. Make the jump. Engaging jump. So this is going to be a class G, just like our own soul. Scan the star. Scanning planet. System map. System map. Alright, so if that's a G, this is probably an M. Yep. Close the map. Closing the map. pretty far away. I'm not going to waste time going there. Understood. 25%. Next waypoint. Key systems are to levels ready for exit. Now, shall I carry out a system scan? Scan the star. Scanning now. System map. System cartography. Oh, 
nothing in the habitable zone here. Close the map. Closing the map. Understood. 25%. Next waypoint. Locking next star system. Exit destination. Confirmed. Arrival in. Five. I can scan four, the system. Three. If you wish. Two. One. Make the scan. Scan. System map. System cartography. Close the map. Closing the map. Stop all thrusters. Do the scan. Do the scan. Scanning now. We're just going to move on. When she is not talking during the jump, I know I'm going to have to manually stop her. I have to stop for the thrusters. I had to press the X key on that occasion because she didn't do what's called a safety jump. Do the scan. Scanning. Sometimes she does and sometimes not. I really don't know why. System map. System map. An M class, but uh, everything here is too far away. Close the map. Closing the map. 25, sir. Next system in route. Next system in route. Selecting next destination. Again, I have to stop her here. Cutting engines, stop here. Do the scan. Scanning planet. System map. System map. Let's see, we said this was a class K, yeah? Yeah. So definitely high metal content there. And uh, for a K class, <clears throat> that is um, 107 to 680, am I right? K107 to 480. Okay. So that's too close. It's just a piece of a charcoal there. That is two. And uh, that's pretty close too. That's too close for comfort. And then that one is way outside the range. So really, we're just going to find, you know, these will, this will be high metal content and high metal content and probably high metal content or rocky body. I might just get those three and then move on just to pick up a few extra bucks along the way here. So, as long as they're close by, they are. Yeah, it's high metal content. 25% engaged.
full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Fifty percent. Content. And this is going to be um, I think this could be can't be a water world, it's too close. They they look a lot alike. It's a metal rich body. Okay. Yeah. Metal rich body, yep. this one too. And this is could be a metal rich body or a uh, I'm, it, it'll be a, either a rocky world or a high metal content. Yeah? High metal content or rocky body. Yeah. It was a high metal content. Alright. Next system. Locking next star system. Full speed ahead. 100%. Make the jump. Stop all thrusters. Do the scan. Scanning now. System map. System cartography. It's going to be either a K or an M. You really can't tell them apart. <laughs> it's an M. Good. Okay. Close the map. Closing the map. And it's just around the corner, so we'll grab that one while we're in the neighborhood. Yes, sir. 25%. Engaging now, 50%. Get a little extra money when you do these scams. Cutting engines, stop. Let me show you. Let me show you. So, an M class star uh, right around here. So, if you, the yellow value, the 1208 that you see down there. Right there, 1208. That is if you just do uh, an advanced discovery scan, the one that I do when I first arrive. But if I go to the star and uh, do a detailed surface scan, which I did this time, then I get 2,903. So du double the value for just hardly nothing, right? So that's uh, that's why I do those when they're close close at hand. It doesn't hurt and pays. Next system en route. Locking system destination. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Make the jump. 
Engaging jump. Class K. All right. So we've traveled 396 light years already. I'm pleased about that. Do the scan. Scanning. System map. System cartography. Well, we got ourselves what looks like a water world out there. Let's make sure about that. This is a K class, and with a K, um, 107 to 480. Check myself on this. K107 okay, to 480, good. And if we look at that, that is that is in the habitable zone. So when you look at that picture and I just wanted to check and see. Sometimes, sometimes you see them um, um, rotating uh, around their axis. Most of the time you don't. I guess most of the time they, they must be gravitationally locked. But um, anyway, I just wanted to check that image. See, that could be an ammonia world. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking it would be. Um, based on its coloration and it, the, the pattern on it, but it could just as easily be a high metal content, you know, one of these two. Let's go look. You see the uh, this one and these two are so similar. The ammonia worlds pay so much better than the high metal content, though. But this is more of a chocolate brown with a white frosting, <laughs> um, like old chocolate. Let's see. Let's see if we can see any similarities here, though. I'm thinking this might be an ammonia world. The pattern on there <clears throat> got that kind of um, question mark looking squiggle down in the bottom right quadrant of the of the planet and then the uh, the other two that are kind of kind of like a horizontal line with a hole in the middle um, That could be the, this one here. Um, I'm going to take a shot at, at it because that would pay out pretty nicely. And then it's not that far out anyway. That's the most distant uh, one. Close the map. Closing and, the map. And the others are going to be probably high metal content um, or rocky bodies. So really, um, nothing that far away. Yeah, let's do this one, do this group. Status. I didn't uh, mean to do that. Somehow I traveled too far over there. Okay, let's select that. And if you look at the uh, symbol there on the left, that is uh, the symbol for a high metal content or a rocky body. Check myself on that. Yep, high metal content or a rocky body. So that's what we'll be looking at here. System map. System map. Close the map. Closing the map. Yeah, I figured that the, all of those 
are going to be high metal content or rocky bodies, with the exception of that uh, one that I think might be an ammonia world. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. 100%. Okay, 50% engaged. High metal content. Yes, sir, 25%. And this is high metal content. That symbol I know. And we've got jumponium in this system, so let's stop full thrusters. Let's make an entry about that. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. And this could be a high metal content or a rocky body again. Okay, 50% engaged. So it'll probably be high metal content, but it could be a rocky body. High metal content. And this high metal content or rocky body here. System map. System map. Close the map. Closing the map. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. System map. System cartography. Yeah, we, that'll be the last one we do before we go down to these guys here. And this is going to be a K class. Just like that. Fifty percent. Something that I brought up in almost every movie that I've ever put up here. System map. System cartography. There's no way to tell how far these planets are from this star unless I fly right up to the star and then get the distances. But I can't tell from in here. I hope they fix that. So that was a high metal content. And now we'll go to this guy. This is going to be that one that I think could, um, could be an ammonia world. Now the, the symbol that I'm looking at here, that symbol um, is a high metal content symbol. But they don't have a, um, well, there's Ammonia World right there, yeah. Okay, so that's just going to be, that's just going to be a um, high metal content. System map. System map. It just uh, looks so inviting. Close the map. Closing the map. Fifty percent speed. I remember when we were looking over here, I thought it could have been an ammonia world, but they're giving us high metal content, so it's this guy right here. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Well, we got a bunch of high metal content anyway, and, and high metal content are not, you know, uh, nothing to sneer at. The 32,000, 30,000, 30, 30, 30, you know, those little uh, chunks, they do add up. All right. Let's continue on now. We've still got these guys down here to get. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. So another K class star here. This would be high metal content or rocky body again. Now it might actually be be interesting just to. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, even though I've already scanned it, I'm just going to fly in close to this star, and then I just want to look at the distances from there to all the other. All the other planets that orbit it. Engaging now, fifty percent. Understood. 25%. Stop all thrusters. Okay, let's check our distances. So, remember we want 107 to 480, right? And all of these are too close, so they're definitely not habitable. System map. System cartography. And they're also all landable, which means that they don't have atmospheres, and it seems that only atmospheric planets are the ones that are terraformable. So, we'll go ahead and scan them since we're here. Understood. 50%. And this is a high metal content or rocky body. There's the orbit lines that you're seeing here. If you didn't know. Turn those off. Okay, that was another high metal content. Another high metal content, most likely, but high metal content or rocky body. Full speed ahead. 100%. Engaging now, 50%.
behind him. And another high metal content or rocky body. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. <laughs> I was trying to, I knew I was going to overshoot that, so I just tried to get as close as I could to kind of keep it in my, uh, in range of my uh, detailed surface scanner, and it seemed to pop in there just at the very last instant, so. <laughs> Next system. System destination locked. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Do the scan. Scanning planet. System map. System map. Close the map. Closing the map. Yes, sir. Twenty five per cent. Next system. Next system. Selecting next system in route. Key systems are ready for exit. I can scan the system if you wish. Do the scan. Scan. System map. System map. Okay, with the Class M star, this one is 279, which is 79 too much. Close the map. Closing the map. Class M, 0.51 to 200. Yes, sir, 25%. Next system en route. Next system. Locking next star system. Do the scan. Scanning planet. Now I think this is a K class star. Find out here in a second. No, an M. It's an M class. System map. System cartography. Close the map. Closing the map. Understood. 25%. Next waypoint. System destination locked. Twenty-five, sir. Fuel complete. 
do the scan. Scanning now. Grab it just because it's there. Next waypoint. Locking system destination. Full speed ahead. Maximum velocity engaged. Make the jump. Frame shift drive engaging. Stop all thrusters. Do the scan. Scanning. System map. System map. Close the map. Closing the map. Understood. 25%. Next system. Selecting next system in route. thrusters. With the newest version of Elite Dangerous, which is coming out here in about four days, on the uh, 27th. And uh, today is the, what, today's the 23rd, so four days. And then uh, on the 28th, the very next day, um, on the very next day, there's going to be um, this new release of HCS voice packs. Its integration is going to be tightened up between voice attack and uh, Elite Dangerous. So we'll see what happens. System map. System cartography. Close the map. Hull integrity. Limits. All other systems are at normal levels. Shall I carry out a system scan? Scan the star. Scanning now. System map. System cartography. Close the map. Closing the map. 25, sir. Cutting engines, stop here. Do the scan. Scanning planet. System map. System map. All right. What is this? Now these guys, um, these class Fs. Uh, I'm trying to remember class F, class F, class F. Um, oh yeah, 607 to 1890. 607 to 1890. So, that's too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. And then these guys, of course, are... Well, you can't tell. This one down here, on the other hand, is... Uh, what? Class G, okay. And Class G stars, 351 to 872. But you'll notice that all of these, except for the last one, are landable. And that's not, uh, that doesn't forebode well for any of them being terraformable. Close the map. Closing the map. Let's see how we've been doing today. We've gone 659 light years, which is better than my target of 500, which, as you can see, I haven't been achieving that target very much. So it's a nice sign that I did that. And I made uh, 20 jumps and made about uh, 1.8 million credits today. So all in all, that's not bad. Uh, I may just
call it quits here. Now you can see here that my estimated trip value since I left the bubble is 75 million. Um, and I'm not even halfway um, well I, I guess it depends on from your point of reference from where I broke a, broke off my original course uh, when I lost my passenger um, show you here um, the there's a kind of a junction here between the uh, that creates sort of a Y shape here. Uh, when I broke off to the left, which is my current course, um, at that point I don't I don't remember, but I think I was somewhere. In the, I think I had somewhere in the neighborhood of like um, uh, like 56 million credits, something like that. That is that is what I had earned, though you know I have to cash in when I get to a to a station, and so, um, you know, but but I will have earned that amount at that point. Now I'm at 75, and so from here, I'm not quite halfway yet to where I'm going, which is the Colonia District out here, and so, um, yeah, you know, by the time I get to Colonia, I'm going to be up uh, over a hundred million credits. I'm sure about that. And then, uh, you know, if I were to just make a beeline back, back down to the bubble, by the time I got down there, I would have um, probably, you know, another hundred million on top of that. Though there, this course that I'm on right now is kind of a course left less traveled. Um, you know, most people. Um, you know, if they're if they're going straight out this way, they usually continue on to the Galactic Center. You know, so that they can uh, visit the black hole, of Sagittarius A, and then, you know, from there, they'll either you know head over to um, to Colonia, or if they're feeling uh, really brave, they'll head out this way. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it is, but there's a uh, point out here, really far out actually. I'm not sure if it's in here or out in this this arm. I believe it's out in the distant arm there because <clears throat> because um, that's where in, intrepid intrepid people go who are really hungry um, but let me see here we'll back up a little bit I'm not sure if anybody's ever made it like out to here yet to that uh, region right there. They probably have. But in any case. I've got a ways to go here, but I think for now I'm going to stop. I'm getting a little tired, and um, today's been a pretty productive day, so I'm I'm very pleased with that. And I'm not planning on editing any videos tomorrow, so I will be back tomorrow, and uh, we'll just press on and see how we do. So I'm um, 
I'm going to sign off from this video. And, uh, oh, the one last thing that I like to do, I might as well do that before I stop recording here. Galaxy Map. Galaxy Map. I want to set a bookmark here. And then go in here and edit the bookmark. Oh, that's not right. Why is that Card Cardano Hub? I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's go back over here, current location. Here we are down there. Definitely getting kind of punchy, I think, here. All right, so E, X. Stop all thrusters. It always doubles the X. The X, R, 1, A, dot. And then this is going to be number 0, 3, 0, which means that this is my 30th day in game since I began this uh, deep space exploration mission. Uh, 30 days in game, but actually I started on um, on December 16th and it's February 23rd, so you know, more than 30 days. So, um, but then that way I can kind of see what's going on and if I back out of here you can see all those bookmarks. You can see my trail. My, my happy trail. So that's, that is where I have been according to uh, the system map. System map. <laughs> Close the map. Closing the map. Close the map. Close the map. Closing the map. All right, so I'm going to just scoop and Understood. 25%. put some distance between me and this star. Next system. Locking next star system. I'm just going to fill my tanks and get away from this star bit. few light seconds between me and it and then uh, and then we'll call her quits for the day. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Maximum drive. Alright, we've got um, 241 jumps to go to Colonia. Alright, I'm gonna sign off now so Hope to see you all out in the black and happy trails.